Okay, let us start today's adventure webinar. I hope you're all ready and raring to see what we've all got in store for you. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to let everybody introduce them, themselves. So we've got Natalia in the house. Everybody must know Natalia by now, but if you don't, Natalia, tell us who you are, where you're from and your prize today. Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending on what uh, side of the world you're coming in from. Um, I'm Natalia Green, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Coconut Bay Beach Resort and Spa and Serenity at Coconut Bay in stunning St. Lucia. And our prize today uh, will be a gift card, I think $50 or 50 pounds. Super. Thank you very much, Natalia. We've also got Melanie. Melanie, hello. Hi, hello everyone. Uh, nice to see so many people coming in from so many different places. Um, so I'm here representing Acacia Safaris, which is an amazing safari company. We also have two lodges uh, based in East Africa. And um, we have the same, we have a voucher today, 50 pounds or $50, and it's an Amazon gift card. Super, thank you very much, Melanie. And we've also got Carlos. Carlos, hello. Oh, hi. Good morning, everyone. If you're in America, so good afternoon for the rest of you that you are in the UK, maybe in other remote uh, locations. Well, I am here representing the Delta Riviera Nayarit, which is a hidden gem uh, in the mountains of the Riviera Nayarit here in Mexico on the Pacific side. This is the first all-inclusive uh, burial property in Mexico. So we have very exciting content for you. So please stay tuned. Super, thank you. And Carlos, you've got the same, the 50, 50 pounds, 60 dollars um, onto the reward program as well for the winner today. So you need to listen very, very carefully to the presentations. Um, I'm going to hand over to Carlos. He's kicking us off. Um, Carlos, show your screen and it's over to you. Thank you very much. Just one more. All right, thank you very much for joining this webinar. So I'm here to showcase this beautiful property that is the Delta uh, Riviera Nayarit, an all-inclusive resort. As I said before, this is the first all-inclusive uh, property by Marriott on this uh, side of Mexico. So this is a, a panoramic picture about the surroundings of this resort. As you can see, it is just right in the mountains. This property is not... Uh, ocean front as many resorts in Mexico. See, this is located on just just like on the mountain. However, we have access to the beach. So we will get in more details later today. Then thank you for being here. Okay, so we are located in La Cruz de Guanacatle, which is a small fisher town. So then we're just in the mountains and we're 30 minutes away from the Puerto Vallarta airport. And this is our offering. So we have 212 uh, guest rooms. From those, we have six suites, nine pools, three outdoor plunge pools, uh, three restaurants, snack bar, four bars. We have a, a, a self-service place 24 hours called Delta Pantry. And we have a 24-hour gym, the Aqua Jungle and River. This is our new, uh, a new section of pools that we will get into more detail later today as well. Um, since we're in an all-inclusive property, so we have uh, food and drinks included for all the guests staying here. We have some premium items that are with uh, uh, at your own expense. Uh, all the rooms have a minibar that is refreshed daily. We're not in the beach, but we have beach access through a beach club where we offer there also food and drinks included in your package. Um, we have free shuttle for the, uh, for the hotel to the beach club and uh, to go back and forth. On a, schedule, on a daily schedule. We have a high-speed internet connection throughout the property. So this is very important for all the people that uh, love to travel, but also they are uh, working at the same time. And we have it also at the beach club. And all our rates include taxes and tips. And we have some additional services that uh, will be with an extra cost. We have a spa services. Well, we have free valid parking in case that you are coming here by car. And also uh, we do uh, uh, some private events on, on garden and open areas. 
Okay, so then this is a map from where we are. So we are located just right here. And the, so then if you're traveling to this destination and you're coming to this hotel, so the airport that you need to, where you need to fly to is the Puerto Vallarta Airport, which is right here. And we're 30, 35 minutes uh, distance from, from the airport. So there are a lot of forms of, uh, to get there so you can pick up your own taxi. Uh, there are also some um, some transportation companies inside the airport. Or if you go outside the airport, you are also able to get uh, Uber. So it is very important to mention that Uber is only allowed to uh, drop off passengers inside the airport for some local regulations, but you're not able to get, to get picked up inside the airport. So you need to go outside the airport premises and then just get your uh, Uber service in case that this is an option for you. Okay, so then this is where we are located. Okay, so then um, this is part of our main area. So this is the uh, the motor lobby entrance. So this is where all the customers uh, the first look of the property. This is the reception and lobby. And uh, these are our hotel rooms. So at this moment, we only have uh, a main category, which is uh, mountain view. That could be with two queen beds like this one, or could be a king size room with a sofa. So maximum capacity for the king room is three guests, including children, and for uh, four guests for the two queen bedroom, including children. So these are the views that you get from from the uh, location, uh, I remarked this specifically because since we're not a property that is beachfront, um, we only have a couple rooms like this one that you can get a full panoramic view from the surroundings and you may get a partial bay view or ocean view, but this is subject to available to the room's uh, location. And then uh, we have a few rooms only like with these views. So the, the view is more like um, like this, just, just right into the trees and the nature. So if we have a guest that wants a, a maybe just a higher floor, maybe they might get a, a more panoramic view, but this is subject to availability. Um, on the same inventory, we have some uh, villas. This is what we call it. They're like a small, uh, a small uh, cabana, but pre they're pretty much the same room category. The only difference is just the um, the the bathroom area. So we have a, a shower and a top on these ones versus the other one is a full walk-in shower. Okay, so then this is the difference that I was uh, talking about. So then for the rooms located on, on the tower building, so this is a full walk-in shower versus the one on the, the villa. The villas are on a lower section. So then they have a, a bathtub and a little shower instead. So then that's the main difference. And this is the, the view that I was talking about. So then this is a, a tower room located on an upper floor. So you can get a, a more a panoramic view. However, so we, we sell all rooms as a mountain view. So all the other requests, maybe the, uh, like a better view, uh, upper floor, a corner room or any other request. So then they're subject to availability and you can ask the front desk upon arrival or you can uh, let us know when you send our guest. Uh... Delta is a, it's a uh, brand that is pool centric. So we, so we have a very nice pool areas on our property. So we have this one called natural pool which is a very relaxing place. This is uh, always not very crowded. So this, this is just surrounded by trees and nature and uh, all, our, all of our uh, pools depth is four feet. So they're not very, they're not very deep. So uh, everyone can go in, but with super, especially with children, if you need super supervision. So then this is one of our pools. And also we have Media Luna Pool. Um, this place uh, we have um, a, a snack bar for lunch. 
So this is also surrounded by palm trees and then just right in the middle of the nature. And we have two pools. We have this one and one on the side that is not visible on the screen. And we have uh, also our food and beverage offer. So we have uh, um, two restaurants here. So two large restaurants. We have uh, Wichol, which is our main restaurant open for breakfast and dinner. Uh, we offer buffet. So for breakfast, it's more like international buffet. So we have some uh, Mexican dishes, but then we have some other international options. And for dinner, we have a, a, a themed menu that, it's, uh, that it varies depending on the day. We can have an Italian buffet, Mediterranean, Asian, Mexican, Italian, and more. We have a little terrace also for people that wants to be just on the outside. And this is a more complete setup for our Media Luna. So we, you can see the uh, the area, but also we have a here uh, a snack bar restaurant where we get a food service lunch from noon till 7 p.m. So then if you prefer to be on seated on a table so that you can go on the upper level. So if you want to, to be uh, just facing right on the pool, so then you can be here and we have dedicated service. So we have waiters that they, they come and go. So we took up the umbrellas for the picture. So we have a lot of umbrellas just also covering this area. So don't think that that you will get uh, burned <laughs> by the sun. <laughs> yeah, we, so with the umbrellas were removed for just for the, for the picture, okay? We have our, our uh, specialty restaurant, Komorebi. We offered uh, tepanyaki. This is a four course, uh, four course menu. And then for each, each set, we have 10 guests per, per seating. And here we have our cooking show. That is one of the main, of the main uh, attractions for, for the restaurant. This is a very popular restaurant but please be advised that we have limited seating so we have up to 40 guests uh, per um, per hour so we have this restaurant open uh in the evening seats 7 8 and 9 p.m so then 10 guests uh per seating so lobby bar this is just right next to the front desk so in case that you want to have a casual drink or maybe just to work on bother so that we have plenty of space and this is open so from 10 a.m till 11 p.m we have shaman bar which is also a, a, a bar so we have air conditioning we have a tv screens to display some music and also we do the karaoke nights right here and this is just set up for a casual cocktail maybe before going to to dinner or maybe just to go after that and this is open in the evening from uh, 6 p.m. till midnight. For Delta Hotel, so we have a, a place that is set up 24 seven uh, self-service. So this is called the Delta Pantry. So all the guests can access here with their own room key. What they can find here, so we have some, uh, maybe something from a, a light breakfast or to have a quick bite throughout the day. So then every guest can come in and they can get an option for their craving. So we have some cold lunches, so we can have some sandwiches, some baguettes, some uh, salad fruit, some uh, desserts, assorted milk. Uh, we have some soft drinks as well, whole fruit, uh, snacks, uh, sweet bread, etc. The only thing that you cannot find right here is alcohol because this is a uh, this is a a, a place where families can go in so but the, the any other sub drinks you can find it here we have a coffee machine a tea an ice cream uh, a grill to toast your sandwich and more well also one of the highlights from this resort is the spa we have a magnificent spa that we, where we can offer some uh, massages uh, treatments and also we have some rituals rituals is an extended uh, the special treatment includes a, a massage combined with an alternative treatment. So we have 10 cabins on property. We have eight single and two uh, for a couple's massage. So then the surrounding is, is everything in wood. Uh, we're surrounded by nature. We have this special uh, environment 
that it's inside the property so to get a more relaxing fulfilling experience but also all the cabins they have air conditioning okay so we know that especially right now it's very humid and and the heat is very it's very strong so we have air conditioning uh, just to use it if necessary this is the relaxation pool uh, also on our on on our property and on the spa we have uh, this uh hydrotherapy areas that include steam room, sauna, and the relaxation pool. Okay, so this is the steam room. And we have a complete fitness center that is 24 hours old. And this is uh, the only place on the resort that is adults only. As well, so, so we have a special, we do a special events on our grounds. So we have this large garden so where we where we do all gatherings. So even from a, a simple dinner, a cocktail or reception or a, a big banquet. So then we have pretty open spaces for all occasions. And we have the beach club. As I mentioned before, the beach club is the only uh, service outside the hotel where we provide uh, the beach access. This beach club is only, only for our guests, where we offer also food and we offer drinks. So especially on this, on this area, we use many of our, our, our local, uh, local uh, fish and local elements so to create these this savory and beautiful uh, dishes for you. I'm sorry. And this is the, uh, the air, the, bar area so we have the also the so where you can have a seat and then you can get your service and we have the resting area where we have these launchers the umbrellas so everything to enjoy this beautiful beach and space okay so this is our new just open the areas from the hotel so we were on expansion so we have this beautiful aqua jungle and river. This is a this is a, a very special area for a family and kids. So then this is just this was just open on August fifteenth. So uh, this this is a panoramic view from from the area, and this is what we have for all of you: five adults only jacuzzis, which are these ones. These ones are located on uh, on the tops. So they have a panoramic view. We have a family area, which is this one right here. So we have these slides and we have this, uh, as well, these amenities, the playground. Uh, and also we have this lazy river that goes along the area. And also we get some floaties there. <laughs> and uh, we have exclusive bar service just at the very end. So then probably just right here. So we don't offer, it's very important to remark that we don't offer uh, food here for a uh, security reason and also just for um, to keep this place very well maintained, but we have a dedicated bar service. Okay, so let me just check about the uh, small video that I want to show just to finish my presentation. Let me just check if you see it.
Super, thank you very much, Carlos. Um, it was great to see the new water area that's all been, uh, you've been talking about it for a long time. So it's open and it's ready um, and it's great to see it. So a big thank you for that. If you can stop sharing your screen, please, Carlos. So I'm going to hand over now to Natalia. She's going to show us all of the activities at Coconut Bay and St. Lucia and Serenity as well. So Natalia, over to you. Um, if you start sharing, you should be able to. Ah, here we go. Yeah. All right. Great. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. So glad to see you all here today, um, especially from all over. Um, as the theme is adventure today, I'm going to take you to stunning St. Lucia, which is fresh off the World Travel Awards, where we did re uh, receive a new award I'm going to tell you about in a minute, and two gorgeous resorts that you have the option of sending your clients to to take advantage of the adventures that are available in St. Lucia. So we'll start with Coconut Bay. Coconut Bay is our premium all-inclusive um, it is located on the southeast of the island, Coconut Bay and Serenity. We are just a short transfer from Huonora, so no long airport transfers after uh, you get off that long flight. But in addition to that, we are also ideally located, as you can see on the map here, uh, really close to all of the top adventure attractions on the island. And we are on 85 acres and one mile of beach. Now, Coconut Bay is divided into two wings. Our Harmony Wing is adults only, and our Splash Wing, which you see on the right of your screen, is family friendly. Um, we are award winning, and I was really honored to be on island um, this past Saturday, as a matter of fact, for the 30th World Travel Awards, and we received our latest award with you, um, St. Lucia's Leading Beach Resort, so that was exciting. This video gives you a little All right, so our splash wing, we'll start with that. Our splash wing is our family friendly wing. Um, it does have a water park, a lazy river. Our kids club is 50,000 square feet. We have the island's only resort petting zoo. We have the island's only resort paintball course. And we have the island's only resort kite surfing facility. So for those of you who have adventure seeking clients, there are there is lots to do and see. Now, within our kids club, it is 50,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor space. It does have its own splash pad for the toddlers. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have our very own resort mascots, Coco and Loco, which you see here on the right of your screen. And on our splash wing, we have family friendly accommodations. So the rooms are configured with either a king bed, which with twin trundle beds, which you see here on the bottom left of your screen, or two queen beds. Switching over to our Harmony Wing, which is our adults only wing. We have two adults only pools on the Harmony side of the resort. We have an adults only bar. We have an adults only restaurant. Um, our rooms are configured with king or queen beds uh, in Garden View, Ocean View, Premium Ocean View. And on the right of your screen is our Concierge Junior Suite, which has four poster king beds. Now that's good for Snowbirds, clients celebrating an anniversary, clients celebrating a destination wedding on a honeymoon, or clients who really like to lux it up when they're on their adventure stay. Now, after a day of adventure, your clients can unwind in our sanctuary spa, 
which is a gorgeous place. We've got three oceanfront spa cabanas and six indoor treatment rooms and saunas and steam rooms. Now I'm going to talk about the spa for just a minute because in St. Lucia, in addition to all of the amazing adventures, um, we also have organic therapies in our spa. Now, what I mean by that is we have an aloe wrap using aloe grown in our very own aloe garden. We have a chocolate scrub using chocolate grown on a cocoa plantation right there in St. Lucia. We have a calabash massage that uses the calabash uh, fruit from the calabash tree, which is the national tree of St. Lucia. So really um, unique experiences for your clients to enjoy. Now, going over to the all-inclusive side of the resort, we say premium all-inclusive because of the many amenities and experiences from a dining and bar standpoint that your clients get to enjoy. Not only do we have eight dining options, including six a la carte restaurants, and they are located indoors and outdoors. Two of our restaurants do have air conditioning, but we also have seven bars spread out throughout the resort, and they do serve premium and top shelf liquors. The Jerk Treehouse, which you see here on your left, is one of our casual eateries, kind of come as you are. Uh, Coconut Walk Marketplace, which you see on your right, is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We do not call that a buffet. We call it a marketplace because we have live action cooking stations for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So in the morning, your clients can have made to order omelets, made to order French toast, made to order eggs benedict, made to order crepes. In the afternoon, they can have um, made-to-order stir-fry. And also in the afternoon at our dessert island, which you see on the center of that photo, the kids get to walk up and get their cotton candy, which uh, I was just on resort this past weekend. And I can't tell you the amount of kids that were up there um, really enjoying the cotton candy. And then for dinner, we have made-to-order pasta, made-to-order stir-fry, and made-to-order flatbread. So really great dining options and lots of variety for the finicky eaters. All of our restaurants do have gluten-free options. They all have vegan options, and they have vegetarian options as well. Our bars are situated throughout the resort. The bar you see here on your left is our swim up bar, which is located on the splash side of the resort. If you see the two surfboards there, those are an indication of our cocktail menus for the swim up bar. The one on the left is an adult cocktail menu. The one on the right is the kitty mocktail menu. So kids can swim up on that side of the bar and order their own mocktails. <laughs> And Peter John's, which is our rum bar, is the photo that you see on the right. Now, we do weekly rum tasting as an activity. And in October, if you've got clients that are looking for a fall getaway, you want to send them down the last two weeks in October. October 14 to 28 is our Rum and Rhythms Festival, where rum is a significant part of that vacation experience. We've got a great entertainment lineup, and we do nightly rum tasting instead of weekly rum tasting during Rum and Rhythms. Our entertainment is a huge part of the Coconut Bay experience with nightly entertainment. Um, Saturday nights is our Caribbean carnival where, where we'll have the steel drum band and the fire dancers and the stilt walkers. Tuesday nights is our country and Western night. And this gives you a little bit of an idea. Oh, And switching gears now, before we get into the adventure side of St. Lucia, again, I'm giving you the options of where your clients might stay to enjoy all of those adventures. And so Serenity is our luxury suite resort. Um, again, it is located just a short five minutes um, from the airport. Serenity does share Coconut Bay's 85 acres and one mile of beach. It has received some impressive accolades as a luxury suite resort, but the ones we are most proud of is being a part of the TripAdvisor Best of the Best, which puts us in the top 1% of all of the hotels that are reviewed on TripAdvisor. But just uh, earlier this year, um, before the summer, Serenity was rated the number one luxury hotel in the Caribbean on TripAdvisor. That's not us saying we're great. That's your clients and our guests really doing a testament to the Serenity experience. Serenity is 36 luxury plunge pool butler suites 
They range in size from 1,200 to 1,900 square feet of interior and exterior space. They all have private plunge pools with waterfalls. They all have butler services. They all have four poster king beds and flat screen TVs. Um, Serenity is adults only and it is couples only. And you should book Serenity um, well in advance if you've got clients, luxury clients that are really looking for that extra level of service and attention. Um, right now, Serenity has very limited availability for October, November, and December for the most part are sold out, and Q1 is selling very strong. So if you've got luxury clients, you want to book Serenity at least four to six months in advance. Now, again, today is adventure focused, so I'm going to get into that adventure right now. Um, at Coconut Bay, because we are on 85 acres and one mile of beach, there is lots of activities that are all included tennis courts, basketball courts, pickleball now, um, beach and pool volleyball. We have yoga in our brand new oceanfront gazebo. We have aqua aerobics, snorkeling, kayaking, and stand-up paddleboarding are all included. There are no resort fees, which is very important for you to know. But one thing that we focus on during the traditional winter months, we don't have winter in St. Lucia, but we do get some wind and your traditional winter months is our kite surfing season. So kite surfing is a huge um, adventure activity. We have kite surfing and wing foiling. Not sure if you've heard of that sport. It was new to me. Um, our kite surfing team taught me about it. We've got kite surfing and wing foiling. Our season is November to April and uh, kite surfing facility. Uh, we have the island's only surf shack. And your clients, if they are adrenaline junkies, can enjoy kite surfing. There is a fee for lessons and equipment rental, lessons and equipment rental during kite surfing season. Now, this map gives you an idea of what how our two resorts are situated. When you come in from that short drive from the airport, you go to the right to Coconut Bay and our 250 rooms, which you can see here, you go to the left to Serenity and those 36 luxury plunge pool suites. Now is where I get to talk about the adventure because that is our focus for today. St. Lucia is a gorgeous um, island with very diverse topography and lots of adventures. So hiking, biking, snorkeling, diving, whale watching, kite surfing, fishing. I mean, you name it and there are ways to explore um, the amazing rainforests and the pitons on our island. Um, zip lining, of course, we've got multiple waterfalls, some that you can get into. Um, the destination of St. Lucia coming off the World Travel Awards, which was this past weekend. St. Lucia was voted Caribbean's leading adventure tourism destination and Caribbean's leading nature destination at the World Travel Awards, which literally just happened last weekend um, in St. Lucia. So that was really exciting. And, you know, there again, there's so much to do and see across our island. You can go zip lining, you can take a treetop canopy tour, you can do snorkeling, diving, uh, ATV tours, which are a lot of fun. We've got multiple waterfalls, we've got the mud baths and the sulfur springs. You can go horseback riding along the beach or along the edge of the cliffs. And the best way to see the pitons is from the water. And this video now gives you an idea. <laughs> can see from there, um, you know, the, the topography of St. Lucia is very diverse. So we've got rainforests, we've got mountains, we've got waterfalls, white sand beaches, black sand beaches. So again, a really great adventure destination. 
But now we get to the part of the presentation where I say how Coconut Bay and Serenity rewards you, our travel advisors on direct bookings. Coconut Bay pays up to 15% commission plus with my booking rewards, you get up to $80 rewards per booking. And from, um, you wanna make sure you register your bookings from the US, Canada, or the UK so that you can get those rewards. Serenity pays 15% commission across the board, plus up to $150 booking bonus or 105 pounds, depending on where you're booking in from. So again, you want to register those bookings with us. Uh, we do have travel agent rates for Coconut Bay, but not for Serenity. Um, you want to be mindful that with St. Lucia, we're a small island and our airlift and the flight schedules do vary by season. So we've got the most flights coming into the island in the winter months, and we tend to have the least flights coming into the island in the fall months. Um, depending on what part of the world you're coming in from, we do have, sorry, we do have, again, seasonal flights. So from the US, it's American Airlines, JetBlue, Delta, United. From Canada, WestJet, Air Canada, and Sunwing flies in the winter. Brit from uh, the UK, it's British Airways, TUI and Virgin, and Virgin is flying for the winter months um, and extending through May, so really good there. This is our North American contact information as well as our UK and Europe contact information, so please feel free to take a screenshot of this um, so you have our contact information. We're glad to supply you with collateral should you need it, brochures, fact sheets, whatever you need to help close that sale. And thank you so much for your time today. I look forward to welcoming you or your clients to our piece of paradise and our wonderful adventure destination in St. Lucia. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you have at the end. And Sarah, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Thank you very much. Brilliant presentations, Natalia, as always. So we're now gonna move over to Africa, Melanie. The stage Fantastic. is yours. Fantastic. Right. I'm going to share my screen. So let me know if you can see it. Yeah. Great. So thanks, everyone. Um, great to hear about uh, Natalia and Carlos's product as well. So now I'm going to welcome you to Acacia Safaris. So um, we're based in East Africa and we're looking after Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya, and Tanzania um, and really making memorable moments. Um, come alive. Now, for some reason, it's not, it's not letting me move slides, so just bear with me. And stop share and start again. One second. I'm going to try with another, uh, with a, another presentation I have as well. So hopefully this will work. And again, I may need you to just tell me that you can see it. Yeah. Can you see? Yep. Brilliant. Okay. okay. Yeah. For some reason, it's not wanting to move between. So I'm just going to do it like this. Um, so why travel with Acacia Safaris? You can still see, can't you? Yep. Yep. So we have over 21 years experience in East Africa. Um, we are the experts. Um, we have lots of options to, to work with uh, different types of holiday, um, but also, you know, different, whatever you want to do and whatever you really want to kind of bring alive. I mean, I think after COVID, one of the things that we've seen is that people want to do the bucket list. And for many, that's going to be a safari, seeing gorillas and having a really authentic experience, which it certainly is. And it is once in a lifetime experience. That being said, people may dip their toe in for a shorter safari and come back and do a bit more of an intrepid exploration, or they may start somewhere like South Africa and then move to something a little more authentic or um, a little more intrepid, I'd say, which would be something like Uganda. Um, so again, um, over 21 years to come up 20, 22 years now, uh, tailor-made uh, programming operating in Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and Kenya. Um, we have two of our own lodges. Um, so I can tell you a little bit more about those. 
Um, and we also partner with um, many um, great hotels and lodges. We tend to be four star and above. Um, we were founded with the goal of providing quality, sustainable tourism. Um, and we very much work with local communities as well, which is really important in, in terms of how we partner and support local communities. Um, and we're committed to obviously giving a first class experience. Um, and, you know, gorilla trekking is one thing you can do, but you can also do mountain climbing. Uh, you can go hiking, you can be uh, canoeing, kayaking. Um, you can be quite intrepid um, and at all times breathtaking scenery and wildlife throughout. Um, we're also very family friendly. So, you know, I think that's something else. I think as, as you come out of COVID um, and people look for new experiences, we're seeing uh, more families come to us as well. Bearing in mind, you know, safaris are fantastic for children. They're just learning, you know, they, they can relate to, you know, whether it's a Disney film or what they've learned at school. So um, it's very enriching. But one thing I would say is that if you're going to see gorillas, generally um, the age um, minimum there would be 15 years. But there's plenty that we can do to help um, a fantastic itinerary. Um, and we worked with a, um, a UK blogger here specializing in the family market. She came to Kenya with us. And, um, you know, we, we kind of, we have uh, amazing experience there. Her blog was really quite fantastic and her, her children really loved it and learned so much. So um, it was really kind of, you know, rewarding and fulfilling to see how they enjoyed that. Um, of course, romance and honeymoon. And I think that's something increasingly that you're seeing people add on a safari with beach as well. So, you know, if you're going to do something in like Tanzania with the beaches there and then come over and do a kind of an add on, um, you know, whichever way you might want to start with safari and then go and relax afterwards. Um, but certainly it's you'll see a breathtaking moment um, and it really is a unique experience. So um, we're getting more romance, you know, kind of and, and honeymoons coming to us. And then, of course, we also have the ability for accessible travel. So again, once in a lifetime experience to come and see, you know, gorilla trekking, but you know, for those that are less able, then we can help with that as well. Um, so certainly, you know, we can, we offer bespoke experiences um, to fit various, you know, uh, goals that someone might want to have um, and memories that they might want to keep with them. So for the Kenya sample itineraries, and we have many more, but you know, you're going to be seeing like the big five, um, meaning like lions, leopards, elephants, buffaloes, and rhinos. The wild uh, beast migration is really kind of utmost in terms of what people would like to do. And of course, Kenya's got some amazing uh, beaches as well. Um, coming into Tanzania, we've got eight day uh, wildlife safaris, 11 day um, wildlife tours, cultural villages, um, that you can also see. So wherever we are, we often work with local communities so that you can see the crafts that are being made. Um, they may, we might be working and supporting a local orphanage. So um, the kind of impact that we can have is really important for us. Um, the Rwanda sample item is just some of them. So, you know, uh, it could be three days, uh, chimpanzee and gorilla trekking, five days gorilla trekking. And again, you've got safaris that you can do as well. We've got more information and I'm gonna send this afterwards, but you know, to go into that much detail would take quite a bit longer. So I'm just touching on the kind of the top line as it were here. Um, and again, for Uganda, uh, we've got seven days, which you can easily do. So whether it's Uganda gorilla trekking safari, or you want to go on an adventure tour, you know, and again, you know, you can be hiking, you can be canoeing, kayaking. Um, I think the gorilla experience is absolutely amazing. And then for something that's a bit more, um, I suppose bespoke in a way, um, is for those that want to do the birding safari. So, you know, for people that are kind of enthusiasts in this, um, you can see some of the birds here below that you might see. And I've not even heard of all of these until I started working with Acacia Safaris. So um, it really is um, something that for whatever you want to do, we can provide. And there is the kind of backdrop that you can do that in. If you were going to do just a very simple um, Uganda, kind of almost like a bolt on, then four days is something that you could do um, to kind of to do that gorilla safari. I would say it's nice to come for longer, but no, this is something that you could add on to a Kenya, Tanzania or a South African trip. So you've got uh, gorilla trekking, you've got community tours I mentioned before, and then, um, you know, flying in domestically as well with amazing views from above. And I'll show you some of those shortly. But if we're coming into like Entebbe, and I'm just showing this because this is the bare minimum 
uh, trip that you could do in Uganda and have that amazingly authentic experience. Coming into Entebbe, not on your first day, you know, you could do some, um, you could relax, um, you know, depending on where you want to be. The boutique hotel number five is absolutely stunning. Um, and, you know, if you're there, you might want to do spa treatments. Um, then we're going to get the flight to Kisoro. And we have a coffee tour there where you go into an, in, like you actually go into the um, plantation. So you have the kind of overview of how you would um, grow coffee, how it's ground, how the local communities, uh, you know, basically lives from the earth and how that supports, you know, them with jobs and obviously financially as well. But it's also organic and a really high grade. So you, you also get kind of like the, the coffee tasting as well. Um, and then you've got the gorilla trekking experience, which is absolutely amazing. But before that, you know, we're overnighting in Nicarango Mountain Gorilla Lodge, it's absolutely stunning. Um, we stayed there on a farm trip. I'm going to show you some, some images um, shortly. We had a boot butler. So we came back, you know, tired from a day being out and, and left our boots outside. And it was like magic, you know, someone waved a wand and they came back pristine, even cleaner than when I'd actually bought them. Um, we had like a hot water bottle in our beds, um, you know, little note on our beds, um, really stunning views um, and really quite magical. Going to see gorillas is something that actually could bring some some people's like to tears it's such an amazing experience so you know you would meet with a, a game park um ranger and they're going to know where the families are because there are different families of gorillas and they move around so they tend to move kind of every every day or so um so they they're ahead they know where they are and then you trek in and you might have a trek of could be an hour could be two three um we were lucky in that it was 45 minutes it's quite intrepid it's quite steep so you know you might have a porter with you and we had a porter each um when we went on the farm and i think that was like 25 dollars and so worth it because they they could have could help you take you back to pack and then just help you get up some of the the kind of muddier parts because you are in a rainforest so you know you are going to get um, some steep climbs, but absolutely amazing. And you'll be about 10 meters from gorillas and seeing how they interact with each other, families, um, you know, feeding. Um, they spend a lot of time uh, sleeping in it and, and kind of eating as well as they move slowly around um, the rainforest. Um, so Uganda specifically um, is known as the Pearl of Africa. It's so green, it's so verdant, and it's so untouched and um, authentic, I think. Um, so on this farm trip that we did, and I show you this as an example, uh, we did gorilla trekking in Bwindi. Uh, we did a community walk, a canoe experience, which is amazing. We saw tree climbing lions. Um, we did a game drive in Shasha. We had a boat cruise. Um, so we actually had an experience of actually um, being taken around on a boat cruise, very luxurious, great for photos, but then also um, being in canoes and, uh, you know, actually doing hard work ourselves. Um, and then we had obviously the domestic flight, which you can see from beneath here, absolutely stunning views. Um, so, and this is us, we go to the coffee plantation there. So you actually see um, how the kind of, the crops are cultivated, how they're ground, and then the, the proof is in the pudding. We actually get a chance to try different types of coffee. Um, this is a boutique number five, just at the top here. Um, and then you can just see some of these. I mean, this is literally pictures that I'm shamefully, I took from an iPhone, but you can see the quality of them. And if you've got a great camera, then, you know, photographers will come and absolutely love it. So the gorilla trekking experience, you can see us here with our guides and how close we got to the gorillas. Um, and, and this is all taken from our cameras and, and, and iPhones actually on the trip. So um, we went into National Park of Queen Elizabeth. Um, and again, as you're going around, you don't have lots of Jeep. So I think that's what's quite nice in terms of authenticity as well, in that it's um, it's very bespoke and maybe there's one, two, three other Jeeps, but you're not getting that mass market kind of tourism uh, where you've got, you know, 10, 15 Jeeps lined up. So that's quite nice. Um, and then uh, we overnight in the Parkview Safari Lodge with some great views that you can see here as well. And then I'm going to show you um, some videos just to kind of bring it alive a little bit.
presenting. We've got some, you know, orphans um, from school that came and sang for us. Absolutely incredible. And really did bring tears to our eyes. Um, and then this is up close and personal. And we have many videos like this, but you can see how close you are. Um, and uh, lots yeah, of snapshots. It's hard to see where to uh, start with. But quite exciting. Um, and of course, you've got all of this nature on your doorstep. You've got the sounds of, of you know, nature and wildlife as well. So this is lots of different things that we saw. And we stopped by the side of the road. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. So you've got zebras, you've got elephants, we saw giraffes, we saw lions, um, everything, you know, antelope. Um, amazing wildlife throughout. And the guides are exceptional. Um, very knowledgeable. So there you are. Um, and then, as I mentioned, we've got our own lodges. So we've got Pakuba Safari Lodge, which is absolutely got stunning views over the Albert Nile um, in Machesian Falls National Park. Um, so we've got 41 bedrooms here and, and can take up to 82 people. Um, and we can do buyouts, um, you know, and you know, um, small groups as well of special interest, as I mentioned. Um, and you're going to see giraffes, elephants, antelopes, sometimes leopards as well. So everything, you're just surrounded by kind of nature and wildlife, um, which is very adventurous. And then we have Mapogo Safari Lodge. Um, so this is located on a hill, great views, just on the outside of Lake Mburo National Park. Um, so it's a 16 room facility. We've got a farmhouse there. You get um, zebras, buffaloes, antelopes um, coming up to the salt well. Um, and we also have two private grass thatched cottages um, with uh, two rooms each. And, you know, great to be in nature like that with you know fantastic views over the park so um that's it in a nutshell um we're here to help you have our email here we're on the social media we've just gone to tiktok too so i'm just going to add this in here um and you know we very much can work with you to tailor make we've just um we're just getting uh, in the system and we will be very soon live with major travel so for those of you that buy through them then um, they're going to be our first um, partner that we're working with as a wholesale partner that you could purchase through so um, we're excited to work with you um, I've really touched top line conscious of uh, the time and that we have prizes to win so there you are Thank you very much, Melanie. Great presentations. I just love the hippos. I think they're my favourite. I think even more than the gorillas is the noises. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple of questions, but I'm going to speed through them really, really quickly. Um, Natalia, um, is the hotel bookable through VAX or other tour operators? Yes. Super. All major North American uh, and UK tour operators. Okay, super. Um, Carlos? Oh, yes, I'm here. Yep. Is the couch in the king room a sleeper? Um, it's more like a pull-out couch, uh, of course, uh, in case that guest needs to use it. So we provide a, a set of, um, of blankets, sheets, and a pillow, so then to make it more comfortable. But okay. uh, yes, then uh, you can use it as it is, but obviously it's better with all this uh, bedding because it makes it more softer. Okay, super. Do you have a kids club? Uh, no, we don't have a, a kids club uh, yet. So then probably, and but so we don't know because we have also one more uh, phase to go. The project is on, on three uh, phases. So we are currently on number two. So we, I know we will have more new areas. So we will have new restaurants, bars, uh, uh, more guest rooms, probably about 95, 96. And yeah, we still don't know um, which other new services we will get. But at this moment, no. But we have this uh, kids area on the pool side and we have activities. 
Okay, super. Carlos, can you book through any tour operators? Oh, yes. Um, in this case, um, so we have we have some um, contract with some tour operators, but yeah, but they they, they have an IATA number, so then they can book through or or uh, rates on on our website. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, Melanie, you've already answered Shanice's question about the major travel being the first tour operator for the UK. Um, I presume more are coming as well. Yes, they are indeed. Super. Um, Natalia, agent rates. Um, do you do agent rates? Agent rates are available for Coconut Bay. Unfortunately, they are not available for Serenity. Um, if you took a screenshot of my contact page in the presentation, um, you can email sales at CBAYNA and that she'll be happy to help you with that. Super. Thank you very much. I will send an email out and copy um, Faith, who is up the sales at um, Natalia and all, the, and all the guys that have been speaking today. OK, I'm going to leave the questions here because I'm really conscious of time. So if everybody can go to chat and make sure that your drop down says everyone, we're going to see now um, some questions that the hosts are going to ask you. So as a reminder, everybody gets a prize draw entry. If you are the fastest finger first, you get 10 entries into the spin to win. And then tomorrow I'll put all of your names into a big, a big spinning um, computerized program and it selects a winner. So that person will then win one of the prizes. So Carlos, do you have a question ready? Oh, yes, I am. You do, you've got your question ready, super. So if you can fire away, please, Carlos, with your question. Okay. So what is the main difference between uh, the room located on the tower section versus the villa section? Oh, wow. <laughs> Many answers popping up. Okay. So the first answer is the view. Is that correct? Uh, well, the view is, is part of it, but it's not like the main difference. The main difference is the walk-in shower and the top. Yeah, I saw one like that. <laughs> Just bear with me. Um, I've got shower. Does it have to say yeah. walking shower? Uh, walking shower and tub to Anna. She was yes. the first person with it properly. That's the, that's the main difference between those two rooms. Okay, super. Perfect. Natalia. Yes, so since this webinar is adventure driven, I talked about a sport that we have on resort and I said we have the island's only resort blank facility. Kite surfing, correct. So <laughs> Fila got okay, do, you, do you accept kite or has it got to be kite surfing? Kite surfing. Kite surfing. So Sheila, Sheila? Yeah, right. Sheila. Like you got it in there first so yes we have the island's only resort kite surfing facility in the winter months thank you sheila y'all were typing very quickly super thank you very much and last but not least mel okay now i've been on this a couple of times so i'm going to have to have a different question and something that's maybe not as obvious this time because <laughs> i know a lot of people start answering already um <laughs> uh, how many rooms does pakuba safari lodge have oh that's a hard one Remembering rooms is always a problem. Yeah, we've got a mixed bag here. So first first one is 16, is that correct? Not for Pakuba. Okay, what is the correct answer? I'll go and find them. 41. 41, ah, Carol. 41, who else had 41? Cheryl, uh, Leticia, Shanice. Yep, so we had a couple. It's always hard, though, remembering. Um, totally, that's why I went for a bit of a harder one this time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Carol, you're there. Super. Well, a big thank you to everybody um, for joining us today. I uh, hope you've learned a little bit about your about the adventure options available for you um, that you can recommend to your clients. Thank you to Natalia, Carlos and Melanie for the super presentations. We love you. They're completely trade friendly. So do please send all of your uh, bookings that you can their way. So a big thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend and we'll see you all next week. Thank you. Bye, Bye. everyone, Thanks for joining Bye. us. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining. Bye. Thanks, See Carlos. you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.